So learning to code is actually pretty easy. I know you might disagree with me, and you have a right to be wrong, of course. But to me, overall, I think learning to code is pretty easy. At the same time, we see a lot of people fail at it. We see a lot of people give up or put a lot of time into it and never end up landing a job. So how is that? How can learning to code be easy and so many people fail at it? Well, that's what we're gonna discuss in this video. And to be more specific, here's what I'm gonna talk about. Number one, I'm gonna give you three steps in learning to code. It's only three simple steps to learn to code. Number two, I'll give you the reasons why most people fail at it, or many people, not most people, many people fail at it. All right, you got this three steps. All you gotta do is follow these three steps, but many people fail. Number three, I'm gonna share with you a mind-blowing yet very simple secret to help you learn to code. And number four, I'm gonna share with you some tools for growth along the way. That sounds exciting. See you after this. I love PHP 7. Travis. I'm a self-taught software developer. I learned to code four years ago and I've been documenting my journey along the way. So if you're into web development, coding, freelancing, or just conquering life in general, consider hitting that subscribe button below. Lots of great videos planned for 2020. All right, so number one, I'm gonna give you three steps in learning to code. Now, when I tell you this, you're gonna be like, who is this guy? This is so obvious but you gotta follow along my argument, okay? I'm, I'm giving you four things here, I want you to follow along. Don't give up on me at the beginning. But there's only three simple steps in learning to code, and it's this. Number one, spend a week on HTML. So HTML is the basis of websites. It's what lies underneath websites. You don't have to master it, you just need to know it. So a week on HTML. Number two, a couple weeks on CSS. So take that HTML you learned and style it. Now, this is basic CSS. Don't get sidetracked with animations, grid, or even Flexbox. Just learn the basics. Be able to style your HTML. And then, so that's about a month. Next, spend the next five months, so this is a six month process, spend the next five months on JavaScript. All right, so start with JavaScript syntax, move to the DOM, then move to stuff like promises and object-oriented JavaScript. And once you feel comfortable with that, move into React. So React is a JavaScript framework, and it's like the most popular thing right now still. And spend the entire five months on JavaScript. Don't go right, don't go left, just five months of JavaScript. I guarantee you in six months time, you will be a competitor to any other person out there applying for junior level React jobs. Now, again, you're like, Travis, this is nothing new. This is the basis of web development. Everybody knows this. But that leads me to number two. And number two is the reasons why many people fail at this. And it has to do with that simple formula. Again, if you just, a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS, and then like five months of straight JavaScript, you will be successful. Number two, many people fail. Why do they fail? Well, let me give you three reasons. Number one, many people fail because of the shiny object syndrome. So as soon as you start learning JavaScript, right, as soon as you start learning it, people come out of nowhere with all of these new things you should be learning, these other things you should be learning. So this could be your friends, this could be on Twitter. These people just come out and say, oh, you're learning JavaScript? Well, that's not really a good thing to stick with. You should learn Python. It's much easier and there's more jobs out there. Or somebody's gonna say, JavaScript sucks, man. You should come learn C Sharp and work for Microsoft or something. Or someone goes, hey, you should learn Angular or Vue or something else, right? So you have one goal to learn JavaScript for like five months. So JavaScript into React and get a solid understanding of that. That's your simple goal, but people come out of nowhere and pull you aside. So that's number one. People convince you to try all of these other things and you lose focus. So number two is that you can't stick with any course that you take. Let me explain this. So you get a Udemy course by like Colt Steel or Maximilian Schwartz, Schwarzmuller, whatever his name is. You get one of these courses that takes you like, it's like 40 hours. 
Like if you could dedicate the next five months to that full 40 hour course in building projects and stuff, you'd be good. But you learn a little bit of it and you go, man, I don't like this guy's style. Or somebody goes, hey, have you tried Pluralsight? Or you should do Treehouse. And all of a sudden you realize, well, this course, this teacher isn't really for me. I'm gonna try this one. And what happens is when you start this new course, you start from the beginning again. And so you go through all the stuff you've already learned. You get to this point where you hit a roadblock, it gets hard and somebody else comes along or you see some better option and you think this isn't really a good style for you either. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go learn over here. So you end up jumping courses, never finishing a course and coming up with all these excuses as to why you gotta learn a different way. And every time you switch, you end up starting over. So you never learn anything in depth. And that's number two. And finally, number three, here's another thing that happens. You start to meet all these people who are brilliant and understand all of this amazing stuff. You start to compare yourself against them. And you start to say, I'm just learning JavaScript. And these guys are talking databases, Golang, and all this other cool stuff. I don't, I'm just kind of tired of JavaScript. Let's go do something new. And you start comparing yourself thinking you can learn as much as those people. Well, it's not going to happen up front. It takes time to become a good developer. You can't speed up the process. You can cram all this stuff and it's just gonna go in one ear and out the other and you're gonna forget it. It takes years to become a good developer. You just need to focus on JavaScript. So five months of focus on JavaScript. Now, this all being said, this moves me to number three. And this is my number one secret. It's mind blowing and simple at the same time, but here it is. Here's the number one secret. All of these courses teach you the same thing. All of these courses teach you the same thing. So if you take Schwarzmuller's course or Colt Steele's course or Pluralsight or Treehouse, if you take all of those React courses, there's only one React. And React only works a certain way. You have to learn components. You have to learn props. You have to learn the pieces of React. And every single person is gonna teach you the same thing. So when you start switching courses, it just sets you back and you lose focus and you won't learn to code, you'll fail. But if you realize that all of them are teaching you the same instructions for React and you get one course and stick with it for five months, you will succeed. And you won't need somebody else to teach you because you just need to learn React. All right, so that leads me to number four. And, the, and number four kind of revolves around this. When you get five months of React, you're gonna get a little bored of it, right? Because you're gonna be going through all these tutorials, you're gonna be following people and doing the same things. You're gonna get kind of bored. And that's another reason why people get led astray. They get bored with it. They wanna go try another language or another framework or they wanna learn something new within JavaScript that they're not ready for. So I'm gonna give you two tools for growth that'll help you to just stick with JavaScript. And here they are. Number one, build stuff. Now I have a whole video about this because at the beginning of this year, I had this realization that I just wasn't building stuff. And so what I did was I needed, I needed this functionality to check this API for something. And I just built the app in React. And I hadn't used React in like two years. And I hadn't done any tutorials for like two years. And I just jumped in there and just started building it. When I hit a roadblock, I looked up the documentation, I learned it. I hit another roadblock, documentation, learned. And along the way, I realized I learned so much from just building something from scratch more than I would taking Schwarzmuller's React course. So the key to not getting bored is to build things from scratch along the way too. So when you're following these courses and you're learning this stuff, also be building something on the side. And I don't mean like following along with somebody building something. I mean like make up something in your mind and do it from scratch. So you're learning React, that's cool. Now step over here, get a blank slate and just start building something. When that app's done, build something else. I guarantee you when you hit these roadblocks, like you're gonna be passing props this way and you're gonna be sending events this other way and you're gonna have all of this stuff going on and you're gonna be like, this is a mess. What do people do about this? And then you learn about Redux. And things are gonna surface like that that's gonna really, really teach you and it's gonna excite you as you build these apps. So number one, you don't get bored with JavaScript over the five months because you're building stuff from scratch and that's super exciting. Also, when you do that, You'll learn things along the way like APIs and maybe some things about databases, but don't let it get you sidetracked. Like if you have to use MongoDB, just pull up the documentation, kind of follow along enough to keep learning React. You can learn that stuff later. And by the way, in that six months, make sure you learn Git because that's very important. Side note. And number two, while you're getting bored with JavaScript, just remember that it takes a long time to know a lot. So as you're doing these simple things, 
and all these people are super brilliant around you, just realize that they've had way more time than you and you should not compare yourself with them. You should instead compare yourself with an old you. So how far have you come? That's the main thing, not how far is everybody else ahead of you. You cannot compete with these people and you shouldn't because you want to change jobs, you want to get into coding, and you got six months dedicated to it and more specifically dedicated to JavaScript and React. And hey guys, that's all I have today. There's a lot more that could be said, but overall, if you want to learn to code and you want to succeed, you just need those three steps. Just go with React, unless you really hate React or there's some dire need to do another language instead, like maybe the company you work for is like, hey, we want you to learn Python, and if you do, we'll put you on the dev team. Well, then you got one goal, and that's to learn Python and not to get sidetracked. But overall, if you just want to get into coding and you want to land that job interview and get it, then three steps, a month of HTML, couple months of CSS, and five months of JavaScript. And don't get sidetracked. Follow the rules that I've told you, and I wish you the best. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.